so here you go. The systematic knowledge of the physical world gained through observation and experimentation. Usually beginning with a hypothesis of what some may call an estimation. Record your results from a series of tests. And what you're left with is a theory at best. Now let me give my hypothesis an educated guess on why my people on the whole seem to be such a mess. In E.A. Wallace Budge's 1920 Egyptian Hieroglyphic Dictionary, Volume 1, on page 430, one of the translations of the Medunetal word rec is science. The Medunetal word rec is most commonly translated as knowledge or to know, but considering that the etymology of the word science comes from a Latin word meaning knowledge or to know, it makes sense that another translation for the Medunetal word rec could be science, as is supported in E.A. Wallace Budge's Egyptian Hieroglyphic Dictionary. The Medunetal word rec is translated as to know in the opening line of Ahmos's mathematical papyrus, commonly known as the Rhyme Papyrus, which is commonly translated as the best method of investigating things to know all that exists. Considering that another acceptable translation of the word rec is science, then the opening line of Ahmos's mathematical papyrus could also be translated as the best method of investigating scientific things that exist. On the Seshumani Medunetcher YouTube channel, there's a good presentation about the scientific method in ancient Kemet, which I will provide a link to in the description below. Additionally, on page 446 of E.A. Wallace Budge's 1920 Egyptian Hieroglyphic Dictionary, Volume 1, the Medunetal word Hepu is translated as scientific laws. However, the glyphs shown in the dictionary actually read Hepu en Rec, which is translated literally as laws of science or scientific laws. So now that we're talking about scientific laws, I'd like to quickly define the difference between a hepu and rec scientific law and a scientific theory. A scientific law or hepu and rec is based on a tested hypothesis supported by empirical data and is a description of an observed phenomenon in nature, oftentimes expressed as a single mathematical statement. It describes the phenomenon but does not describe how or why. Scientific laws or hepu and rec are considered cornerstones of science on which other scientific concepts are built. Like scientific laws, scientific theories are based on tested hypotheses and supported by empirical data. However, scientific theories provide an in-depth explanation of the how and why for observed phenomenon in nature. Scientific theories also make reference to one or more scientific laws and seek to increase our understanding of phenomenon in nature. For example, Ohm's law is one scientific law or hepu and rec that I discuss in the book Taught Technology and is part of electrical circuit theory along with other laws like Kirchhoff's voltage law KBL or Kirchhoff's current law KCL. The master key video on the African Creation Energy YouTube channel is an example of the continuity and transfer of conservation hepu and rec or law of science which is why similar mathematic equations can be written to describe similar phenomena across electrical, thermal, hydraulic and mechanical disciplines.